Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more it's Leo speaking. Well, today I have the pleasure to introduce you to the third effect from GSDSP, and in this case is Magic Blur. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. And indeed, if you like to also participate to the giveaway, please do check the video description, check that uh, it is still active. If you see the winners announced, it means it's not active anymore. And if you would like to participate, follow the instruction in the video description, please. Okay, so as I have done previously for other effects from uh, GSDSP, I have created a little bit of a configuration inside uh, um, AUM. So we're going to start with a grand piano, okay, which um, you know how it sounds, just a grand piano. Okay, perfect. So let's open up uh, Magic Blur. And um, it is a familiar interface if you use the already Magic Delay or Magic Pitch. So let's start from the top. We left, we have a menu here where you can manage the presets, import, export, delete them. You can look also different parameters. So when you move between presets, they stay the same. You can change the skin color, uh, the language, which is really nice. You can have tooltips enable or not. And then of course you see the magic blur version. You can activate the help here. You click on that question mark and then you click somewhere like this control here. It says deactivate the blurring and simply phrase it the spectral snapshot. Okay, and then you click again on the question mark to deactivate it. You have two status here, A and B, and you can copy between each other using this uh, function here in the middle. Then here you have the ability to choose uh, from built-in presets. You have different categories, as you will hear in a moment, and then you have access to your user presets if you define them. Here is where you can uh, um, see the name of the preset. You can go to the previous one with this arrow, the next one with this, with this arrow. You can create a new one, save, undo, redo, and then up here you have uh, three different grades of uh, randomization uh, for the parameters which you see on the screen. And the, this here allows you to actually select which parameters are randomized. And then up here you have uh, the uh, bypass button for on and off. Okay, as we have seen in similar effects from GSDSP, you have a number of, of lane here, you select one here, or the next one, etc. You see a difference in colors. Of course, Magic Blur gives you the ability to apply that um, blurring effect, so you can create those lush sounds, which are very good if you want to look uh, to create something more atmospheric. Okay, you can even go and create them. Um, a glitch sound uh, type of effects as well. You can solo here all the different lanes. You can click here, you can copy from different lane using these buttons here, then you can reset them, you can invert them and randomize the lane. Of course, when you have a lane selected, you can then move up and down here. Okay, and then you can double click somewhere to create a point and then you move this point at the moment you see is using a square variation here between the points. You can deactivate that here. In this case, you are free to move the points, which in this case are snapped um, to these node division. But of course, you can add also additional node division like so, so you have more control of your points. Okay, so you can also drag and drop like these and then move the selected region like so. And then you create again um, this insertion in the curve. And you can start to hear that effect that is uh, coming through. And that is dependent, of course, uh, based on the frequency that you, uh, uh, you, you have selected and you are changing, of course, the blur intensity. Really nice. As um, per other effect, you can uh, select the different lanes, like so, it can create a different variation, right? Like so. And then, of course, here you have this uh, uh, pad, which allows you to move from one lane color to the next one. And then, of course, it's morphing. You can use uh, four different ones, depending, of course, on what you have defined here are different lanes. Okay, let's continue. So um, here you have the input, of course, in decibel, which you can choose. Um, so you can increase and decrease the input. Same on the output, yes, still in decibel. You have your dry wet effect, which you can also lock. Mm. 
Next here, we have uh, um, a selection to invert the um, what you see on, on your curvature at the top, like so. Double click to go back to default. You can also set a, a shift on the right channel, which allows you to create more variation. You can also do a shift here, similar here on this control. And then here you can do a skew left and right. And again, you can do that offset or shifting on the right channel. And here you can, of course, reset it. And here you have control for pitch shift. Envelope, which is quite nice. On the left hand side, you can create uh, more an expressive decay. On the opposite side, you act on the attack. Here it sounds to sound a little bit more like Christmas type of sound, at least for me. This control here allows you to um, freeze. Uh, as we explained uh, earlier on, and disable the um, the blur effect here, you, you can change the direction also of the blur effect. Here you have a high pass filter, a low pass filter, and you can change also the, also the intensity of the of the filters themselves. Then here you can change the algorithm. At the moment it's set for instrument. You can also set it for percussive sound. And here you have your LFO. You can bypass them here and then activate each one of them. And when you activate it, one, of course, you can set the destination, like so, and the intensity, of course. And then you can set it, you can set it to bipolar or unipolar. Here you have sample and hold. Here's the re, um, resetting as well, okay? And this one is to activate or disactivate uh, the LFO, okay? Um, so let's uh, do something like that. And by the way, you can also act on this control here on the X and Y pad, which is really nice. Here you can change the rate for the LFO in this case by type and division, or you can click here, you can go by Hertz. And of course you can change the LFO to be a custom LFO, random and um, amplitude follower or pitch follower, which is really nice. And I will do other tutorials on those. Here you can change the sign um, so the waveform of um, the um, uh, oscillator, and then of course you can change the phase and the skew, of course, which allows you to create a variation on that waveform. And then you have you have here an amount, of course, which you can also change with this parameter in terms of skewing to the left, to the right, okay, which create interesting characters. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, see how it sounds if we use a different instrument. So let's uh, mute that and let's bring in Terra Pro and let's listen first of all to how it sounds uh, with a bypass. <laughs> Okay, let's reactivate it now. Now, let's go to the preset here and choose uh, some of the preset and explore. That's quite nice because it's like almost an arpeggio, right? This Nirvana effect is actually quite nice. And this is the reverse, of course, which is even better, of course, if you like the reverse the option. Okay, so uh, let's mute that and let's uh, play um, a, a, a sample. So let's play it. Okay, and let's uh, go through some preset with that sample. You can 
still hear that that sample is there behind, but of course it is quite transformed. This is quite nice, I love it. Okay, so let's deactivate that sample and then uh, and let's use uh, Pipa instead. I have mixed voices selected, so let's l listen by passing the, f um, the effect first. Okay, let's try the effect. Okay, let's try something else. Let's try Krill as a synthesizer. Again, let's listen first to what we have selected. So we have a bass. Okay, let's listen with that bass and let's try different presets. Nice glitch maker effect. Let's try these greens. Okay, um, let's actually remove uh, Creole and let's uh, bring in something like uh, Digistex, which I have not configured, but I do this pretty quickly, like so. We create sync into the host and let's create a bit of a pattern so we have an idea of what um, it sounds like when we have actually um, selected um, a drum sound. And um, like so, and why not we do something like that? So let's play. Okay, that sounds nice. Now let's uh, choose uh, from the built in preset. Let's start from this one, always lending, and let's try a drum. This is quite nice, actually. Thank <laughs> you. 
this grains actually is really nice too. <laughs> Okay, let's stop here. I hope you enjoyed the quick tutorial and demonstration. And as always, see you next time. Bye.